Peter had a moment, however, of reflection. He remembered his request to the master. He was going to Jesus. That was what he asked him. If it's you, let me come to you. Hmm? Let me come to him, the master of ocean, sky, and sea. He was going to the creator of the sea and all that was in it. He was headed for the only begotten son of the Father. Hmm? Amen. Lord have mercy. The feeder of 5,000. The healer of many. The blind eye opener. The savior of the living. The raiser of the dead. This is who he was going to. So Peter did what came naturally based upon his methodology. He called out to him in a quick, precise voice. Lord, save me. And that's a prayer, folks. And you know, if the reality sets in, you don't have to be on no stormy waters to cry, save me. You can be out there in that river of life. And things have become so tedious that the only way you can look is up. Amen. Amen. Uh, the creator of the sea, all that's in it. So he called out to Jesus, save me. Now the reality is Jesus could not refuse his request. God can't lie. And if he said he'll do something, he can't take it back. Hallelujah, folks. For after all, he was sent to seek and to save that which was what? Amen, y'all. He had appointed Peter an apostle for a purpose. Peter could not finish the appointment if he drowned. So there was a reason for Jesus to save him. Say amen, y'all. And you say you were saved, you've been sanctified, you were kind of holy. The Lord allows things to come in your life to get you twisted up to test who you say you are. He doesn't want to hurt you, but he allows you to be hurt in order for you to make a determination as to who you trust. I'm, I'm glad the sheriff was here, and I, I, I'm glad that there are political circles. I'm glad that Obama is in the White House. I, I, I'm glad that there is a government, but I don't trust them. I, I only trust them so far because they're like me. We are limited in our abilities. At our very best days, we are liars in order to get our way. With a song I had down in Macomb, Mississippi when I was a little boy and the choir used to sing. And I remember, wonder why I remember that. I'm 80 years old, about 70 some years ago I remember this song. The song says, I met an old hypocrite on the street. The first thing he did was to show his teeth. The next thing he did was to tell a lie. The best thing to do was to pass him by. Remember that now, cause it's the truth. Oh, you got a whole lot of folks pretending they love the Lord. They're hypocrites. <laughs> if Jesus got Peter out of this trouble, he would have a new testimony. The Lord allows you to get in trouble to get you out to allow you a new testimony. Yes, the song may not be all truth, but it said, if there were no mountains in my life, how would I know that God could help me climb? Yes, and the title of it, are there any rivers? Yes, 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 yes. Plenty of mountains. Yes. So when Peter cried out, Lord, save me. What did Jesus 
do. He reached out. While Peter reached up. See, when you were down far enough, the only way to do is look up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you're asking for someone to reach you, the intelligent thing to do would be to reach for them. There's a mural in the Sistine Chapel over in the Vatican in Rome. In Rome. And it shows the Spirit of God reaching down to man. And mankind reaching up to God and the fingers almost touching. Symbolizing God always has us in mind. And we should have him always in mind as creator. And if we keep reaching, the mural is so realistic, you know the suggestion is that they're just about ready to touch. And every now and then I get close enough to the Lord. Where I can bathe in his presence. Everybody know what I'm talking about? I get lightheaded. I get light spirited. I feel like I could do Lake Muhammad Ali and levitate. Amen. I haven't tried it, but I just think in my heart I can. I feel so good I don't want to stop feeling like that. But like the Mount of Transfiguration, the work is in the valley. And I have to get off the mountain top of inspiration and go back to that world that is full of storms and rain and wind and hurting folks to help them over their problems. The hymn from Sinking Sand, He Lifted Me. With tender hands, He Lifted Me. From shades of night, to planes of light. Oh, praise his name. He lifted me. He, he, he will lift you. By his love. Out of the angry waves. He'll give you moments of peace. In the middle of confusion. He'll give you joy. Tempest is raging. 